Hey everybody, Mark Agnesi here again in the back room at Norman's Rare Guitars. And it is time for Guitar of the Day. Catch up NBA here. Cavs are through, 12 and one. Golden State's 12 and 0. This is gonna be a great finals. LeBron broke Jordan's point scoring record as we knew was going to happen. He's now the all time leading scorer of playoff points. People still are gonna, still not gonna accept that as, as enough either, but you know, he'll break another 15 or 20 records. Maybe we'll get some other people on that same page here. Let's see, Flat Top Friday. I've got a newer guitar for you today, but it's one that's worth doing. Um, pretty fantastic guitar uh, from the Martin Custom Shop. Real fancy. Lots of bling on this guitar. I love a big old blingy pearl top Martin. So uh, why don't you come back, see your flat top Friday for this week. Uh, this thing is from 2007. This is from the Martin Custom Shop. This is a D45 12 fret with flamed Hawaiian koa back in the sides. Why don't you take a look at the back of this thing? Oh yeah. Wow. So, the D45 is the top of the line model. They started doing these around 1934. First one was made for Gene Autry. He said, just make me the fanciest guitar you can make. You got something flashy? Shit, throw it on there. This is what they came up with. Actually, the first one that they did for Gene Autry was a 12 fretter like this with the slot head. What's that mean? It means the joint where the neck attaches to the body is at the 12 fret, 12 fret model. Most all the Martin guitars you see are 14 fret models, which makes the body look a little bit different and gives it more of that kind of Gibson J45 slope shoulder look. But it also does kind of push the neck a little bit more into the body of the guitar. These do tend to sound better. Um, and then normally with the 12 fret guitars, you'll see the slotted head um, that kind of strings up like a classical guitar would. So uh, yeah, so most all the D45s are always rosewood guitars and the originals, are what we call the pre-wars. They're all Brazilian rosewood. We actually did a pre-war D45, maybe around this time last year, maybe even a little earlier than this time last year. It's the most expensive, collectible, flat top guitar that you can buy. They only made 91 of them. I've sold a few of them over the past few years. They normally, depending on condition, because some of them, most of them have some small issue, but uh, you know, they range anywhere from the low 200,000s and up. That being said, they're really nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so what does that mean on the D45s? It means a whole lot of abalone shell. So uh, you'll see the abalone going around the center sound hole. You'll see it going all the way around the top, what we call the purfling, but it doesn't stop there. And you'll also see basically abalone going around every joint of this guitar, all the way around the neck heel joints, front, sides, and back. Yes. It's a lot of pearl. This one's got the snowflake inlays uh, on here, as well as the um, flower pot headstock, uh, also inlaid in pearl. Tuners are also etched and inlaid. I mean, this is just like the nicest stuff that they can do. One of the peculiar things on this guitar is the bridge, which is kind of rad. Um, normally, you'll either see the early Martins with what we call the pyramid bridge, or you see them in kind of, you know, the mid 30 with, with what we call the belly bridge. This is like a pyramid bridge and a belly bridge at a baby. It's kind of got <laughs> attributes of both, which is cool. Other than the highly flamed Hawaiian koa on the back, there's an Adirondack spruce top, which they also did back in the old days. Uh, you can kind of tell the Addy tops because I don't know how close you can get in on the grain there, but it's this really, really wide grain spruce where you see the a really great Sitka top is all about getting those grain lines as tightly together as possible. You want a really tight grain on, on um, Sitka. The Addy, you normally always see those big wide grains. Ebony board, ebony bridge, um, very, very cool guitar for being new. Uh, this is about as good as it gets uh, on the new stuff. Why don't we go uh, tickle it with the fingers, we'll smack it with a flat pick. We'll see what this thing can do. All right, we're out front. We have the 2007 Martin Custom Shop D45 12 fretter with the uh, Hawaiian Koa back and sides. We got it capoed up. We're gonna start with a little finger style. We'll switch to a pick in a little bit here.
Cool, let's ditch that capo, let's hit it with the uh, flat pick, see how it opens up when we lay in a little bit here. from the Martin Custom Shop. This one's from 2007. This is a 12 fret take on a Martin D45 Adirondack spruce top. Got highly flamed Hawaiian koa back and sides, ebony board, ebony bridge, and of course the inlaid flower pot on the headstock. There's your flat top Friday for this week. Uh, follow me on Instagram at, at Mark Agnesi. Follow the store at, at Norman's Rare Guitars. And check this and the rest of these guitars out online at normansrareguitars.com. Most of you guys are starting your Memorial Day weekend out there. We got one more guitar of the day coming at you tomorrow. We'll see you back here, same time, same place. Peace.